We're talking right now about some DIY decor. I have Dana Isom Johnson with us right now from Etsy. And, and Dana, one of the big trends with weddings now is this whole DIY. Everybody kind of wants that authentic custom touch. Right. But we also know that when you're planning a wedding, it's one of the busiest times. So you kind of have a nice solution with Etsy of getting that DIY touch, only it's sort of DI someone else. Like someone right. else is doing the DIY for you. So kind of explain how it all works. Right, so on Etsy, we actually have over one million different Etsy shops that people can discover and shop from. And really the, the evergreen trend is personalization. Because when you're working with an Etsy designer, it's all about reaching out to them to figure out what works best for you. What's your color palette? Do you want to add initials? Do you want to add a special message what's the best thing that works for your wedding mm. so the first thing we're going to talk about is still personalization but we're also going to talk about the chalkboard trend which is huge which is huge but what makes it even better this is dust free chalkboard so your your guest and you will not have grit and grime on your fingers and still give you the beautiful beautiful chalkboard designs this is by Lily and Val they are a husband and du husband and wife duo out of Pittsburgh Pennsylvania so no one's going to spend all their time making this beautiful chalkboard for one of your guests who may have had one too many to come over and just smudge the whole thing and make That's a mess. That's right. It stays beautiful and nice and intact. So then the next and thing... And you can get... I'm sorry to interrupt, yeah, but you sure. can get any message... Any you message. Want it on there. Again, so that's the great thing here about comes working the bride, with. Welcome to our wedding. This is exactly. our love story and so on. Or here's our guest book. Here's our photo booth sign. The great thing about working with independent designers, you can get your message customized. I love that. And then yeah. these are great. And I know farm to table is a really big trend now and sort of that whole idea of getting back to nature. Right. And this looks like the kind of thing that. You know, someone kind of picked up a few things out of their backyard and made something beautiful out of it, right. which goes with the whole DIY trend, right? Totally. So you hear the farm to table thing a lot in food, in the foodie right. world, right? But this is bringing the elements indoors into your wedding decor. So it's using things like natural elements like bark or using copper or even concrete. So it's really cool also because these types of things are beautiful for your ceremony or for your reception, but then guess what? You can take this home and use it in your home decor. Well, a lot of this stuff also fits with what people are really liking now for totally. home decor, right? Absolutely, yes. Uh, so it has multi-uses and it's saving you money um, and it's just a nice touch. And talk about the, the money part of it because a lot, lot of the struggle with weddings now also is the budgeting, so this all sounds yes. great, but how expensive is this to have someone custom making all this for you? Well, it totally depends on the item, and it depends on the level of customization you want. Mm -hmm. So, you know, an initial customized product versus having an entire uh, poem or special, special message, it can vary in price ranges. Right. like anything else. Exactly. And then, exactly. this is something I'm, I'm not sure I've ever seen before. These are custom cookies, but you say these yes. are actually hand-painted? Hand-painted, hand-painted. So this is also going along with the trend of metallics. Metallics are the new black, okay? So they, they are the, the black, the white, the uh, gray, because they fit in any type of color scheme that you have for your wedding. What makes these cookies so special is that she's using the metallic as the base, but then she's also introducing watercolors. So this specific artist is Sogi Honey Bakery, okay? okay? And what she can do is she can either, you can buy directly from her shop, from these basic watercolors, or you can provide her with messaging and she can write, you know, congratulations, Laura and Will, or whatever it is your special message is. I'm all, I would almost be afraid to eat these because they just look so pretty. And I, I don't know if, how close up you can get there, but the cookies themselves are actually metallic. Yeah, but they're yummy too, though. They don't, don't be afraid to they eat don't them. They don't look don't edible. Be well, in that case... I think we have to have a sample. Let's do it. Would you like to try one with me here? Let's do it. Have a little crack. Cheers, cookie. cookie cheers. Cookie cheers. Cookie cheers. <laughs> and so, mm -hmm. how do you pick, you know, I'm sure there are different recipes and whatnot for the cookies, so how custom can this get? It can get as customized as you like. So, so you can say my guests are gluten free or you have some kind of an allergy or exactly. something like that. Or if you want. And then you don't have to worry about it. Exactly, or you can do a lemon thyme cookie or a rosemary cookie, whatever that particular seller offers, mm -hmm. you can work directly with them and get it customized to, again, whatever it is that works best for your wedding. These, by the way, not only beautiful, but delicious. We're going to have to finish yeah. picking out on those a little bit later. Totally, totally. But the centerpieces are also 
obviously a big deal. And just sort of the general decor. Terrariums are huge right now. Yes. And are these fake or real? Because my fear is always killing plants before the day. So here's another great thing about these. So this cellar, well, we have a, a combination of two. Mm -hmm. The terrariums, which also go back to the metallic trend, they actually have paper flowers inside of them. See. So those are made out of paper. So then you don't have to worry about the wilting and some of the right. things that can go wrong. Exactly. And they're perfectly uh, shaped and they look beautiful. Yeah, um, you really can't tell when placed on a table. Yeah. That's and this pretty. is another thing that is not the, the traditional centerpiece. Your guests can take these away with them. You can take them back to your home. Your centerpiece can be the favor. That's right. That's right. Yep. Um, and in this particular item, they're using felt for the flowers. So you have a paper option and then you have a felt option. Mm -hmm. This seller, uh, she gets inspiration from real flowers as well as whatever pops up in her imagination. It's so I yummy, I hope you don't right? mind. I'm it's still, okay. Keep I'm going. still eating cookies it's while yummy. Dana's talking to me. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Everybody, you got to check out Sogi's Honey Bakery because it's so yummy. Um, but yeah, so this seller uses uh, felted flowers or you can do paper options. And even this seller collected edition. She's actually based here in New York. Are these pipes? No. So this is 3D printing. So she worked for a major uh, designer in the bridal industry, decided to leave, follow her passion, and cool. learn 3D printed technology. So now she makes these flowers, she makes rings, if you can believe it, um, and it's all through 3D uh, technology. And um, the holders are 3D printed as well? These no, are like these types, are copper. Right? They're copper, but they go back to the metallic trend. I love so it. So it very, all flows together. Very hardware and industrial, which I like too. Yes. I kind of like that look. Yes. And then, I also, by the way, I love the actual newspaper flower that yes. she put in there. And, you know, for newspapers for me, right, as a journalist, I've been a print journalist before, that would be a kind of personal touch that I would love because it speaks right. to me. But it seems like this is the kind of thing where you could kind of work in your own little personal totally. touch in yeah. those ways, something that means something to you. Yeah, a lot of sellers will actually allow you to choose the book that they use to create the flowers because it oh, means something I love that. to the public. Yeah. So again, it's all about starting the conversation with the designer, figuring out what is it that is really us, what makes the couple them, and how can they bring that to their wedding. So that's just one personalized element that can be brought to life. And then the invitations, often they're the first impression that you make on a guest. Right. So how do you get it right without spending a fortune? Right. Well, I think it just all starts with that initial conversation because, again, another thing that you can do is work with the seller who, like this seller, does, you know, pastries as well as paper. So you can carry the theme throughout. So you can tell them, you know, this is my color scheme. I want you to create save the dates, menu cards, invitations so that your theme is really brought throughout and you're working with one designer. I think pastries as the invitation now that we can write right on the pastries and people might not know where they're supposed to go for your wedding but they'll be very excited for yeah it. and their their tummy will be happy yeah. that's for sure you'll be like where was the ceremony again yeah. i don't know because we ate the cookie that right. had the instructions <laughs> on it but i can't wait for that party yeah uh and so kind of walk me through what we're looking at here in terms of the, this looks like kind of a, a more simple and very earthy yes theme. and it's again uh repeating the watercolors we're seeing a lot of watercolors um and watercolor artists just bringing that to life using watercolors as well as the metallics as an accent mm -hmm. color um, so it's just, it's a great way, again, to carry through your theme throughout. And then, what are these? I, I have to confess, I've been staring at them for a while. They're really beautiful. Are these felt? Felt, felt. that's right. Yep. They, they're actually the same designer that uh, makes the lettering. Um, sugar snap felted designs. Uh, and again, it's all about what works for you. So they can customize the letters, they can customize the, the color of the flowers, all of that. I kind of like this as a... Oh, okay. It works. I think we could 3D, 3D print 3D some hair printed? accessories There you here. go. It works. I like it. I don't know if I trust you when you're telling me that it works. It I mean, I can't see the stem from the back, <laughs> but from the front, it works. I like it. Okay, maybe not yep, the most just grateful keep, application. Yep. <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have to 3D print in the barrette. Um, but you can get creative with a lot of these things and kind of, you know, mix and match. You don't necessarily have to stick with just one thing. If you like the flowers, but you don't like the piping, you can coordinate with a designer that uses the more earthy materials, right? right? Totally. Yep.
kind of Absolutely. beauty of all this. You can kind of make it all your own. Well, that's what it's all about because I think a lot of people um, need to connect with the fact that your wedding is about the story of you and your partner. Right. And so that's, again, what's so great about working with these independent designers is that they can bring your story to life because their products have a story too. So how is it that you can personalize it and truly make it your own? And what I also love about the idea of the, the DIY and the custom is you're saying your wedding is about your story and of course the focus is on the bride and groom, but you want your guests to A, have a good time, but also feel like you're so happy that they're there and they are a part of your celebration. And totally. what I found is with things like little touches like place cards and favors, you can also customize those to put a little personal note to your guests. Maybe exactly. the place cards are made out of a, a, a book that right. you have in common with that particular table of guests. Or, Absolutely. you know, we've seen, had some people do bar themes, for example, and their favors or their place cards will be on a coaster of a particular right. bar that that group, let's say it's your group of college friends that you all went to together sure. or a restaurant that you and your family really like. Yep, really like. Using, excuse like, me lyrics of to, to your favorite song or anything that is special that your guests can share in that moment with you. Sky's the limit. Yeah. And then, what are these beautiful, these are paper, but they are uh, paper. it's almost hard to believe. Tissue paper. And so this uh, designer is Zipper 8 Lighting. And so this is another thing that you can use that has multifunction. So they can be used to, to make a great centerpiece, mm -hmm. but they also have LED backlighting. Oh, that's it's great. a little hard to see, but so you they can, glow if you have a nighttime. Right, and so you can use theme. these not only for a centerpiece, but also to build the backdrop of a photo booth, photo booth prop. And I just want to show how this works, because yeah. a lot of people, you hear lighting and you worry about having wires everywhere and what to do with these. Minimal lighting. Battery operated. Yep. So you can put these really It's a really nice backlight, especially if you're, excuse me. Oh, it's okay. Especially if you're having an evening wedding. It's, an <laughs> it's okay. There we go. It props up. I have not drank the wedding cocktails yet, I swear. <laughs> and so, um, when you're trying to figure this all out, how do you decide what option is right for you? And I think the one big worry for people who want to take a step like this is that, what if you order it all and then once you actually get it, you don't like it. Right, well, that's why working directly with the designer is so key because you can tell them what tone of blush that you're looking for or what shade of maroon or whatever it is because again, it's really about personalizing it mm -hmm. to what works for you. And when you have the ability to work with someone directly and tell them what your needs are and what you're looking for, they can help with that. And they can often send you maybe a sample if you're ordering a big order and something like that so you can be sure that you're exactly. ordering the right thing before you order a hundred of them. Right. And then these are paper flowers too, but these look completely different to what right. we're looking at here yeah, on the so table. This, just, this gives you a, a slight sampling of all the different types of paper or 3D printed options that you can find in the marketplace. Um, and again, like work with your seller and talk about what's your favorite flower? Is it a tulip? Is it a peony? Like just let them know and they can work directly with you. And even maybe they can talk about the types of paper that can be used. And this book here is just yes. beautiful. Talk so, to me about, about this. Is this for a guest book? Is this just as decoration? So it could be used for a few different things. Mm -hmm. This is another one of those multi-use options. This seller is actually, uh, her title is uh, Paper Perennials. She's an English teacher and she was inspired by doing her own wedding and she, you know her love of books, her love of literature. So she decided to cut out, if you can see here, there's a cutout of the book and you can add in these paper flowers to make it decorative for a centerpiece. And then when the wedding is all wrapped up, you can again take this home, place it in your home library, and maybe even add in a little item and it's a secret box that maybe you could keep something valuable or keep something special that no one knows about because it's coming from your wedding. That's really sweet. And then it gets, uh, this, this road can get a little bit complicated, but the whole idea of doing something kind of out of the box is how a lot of these ideas originated. People saw the classic ritzy wedding trends and they wanted something different. Right. Now that this is becoming the trend, yeah. what about for people who now feel again they want to do something more out of the box? Which way do you go? You start with your story. It's all about your story. What is it that you and your partner love? What is it that, that you guys have a great time doing? Bring that to life. It's your day. It's no one else's day but you and your partner. And then I know that 
this is sort of just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, you have an endless amount of sellers and designers, yes. and I know you have an event coming up this weekend. So just sort we of do. give us an idea of how people can go about plunging into that world of Etsy, which is huge, yes. and figuring out what's right for them without being overwhelmed. Yes, so in New York City this weekend, we are having an Etsy weddings event, which is super exciting. There's gonna be over 40 sellers there. Oh, so bit. you get the opportunity to directly interact with these designers and talk about the things that we talked about today. What is it that you're interested in? How can we customize it and make it um, personal to your story? So that's happening this weekend, and for more information, everyone can check out our Facebook page um, and that will give more details to the event I'll be there it's gonna be a great time we hope to see you um, and it, it's it's really a great opportunity to meet and greet with those designers well Dana thank you so much for walking us through all this such great ideas really beautiful work by your designers and we look forward to seeing more thanks so thanks much so much